Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here with game three of our series between the 1988 Oakland A's and the 1989 Kansas City Royals. And currently, if you've been following the series, you know that the series is all tied up at one game apiece. And so uh, the team that wins this, it's a best of five. So the team that wins this has the serious upper hand in the series. And on the mound today for the A's will be Kurt Young, who in 1988 was 11 and eight with a 414 earned run average. And for Kansas City, it will be Charlie Libre, who was five and 11 with a 514 earned run average. So, they don't have their best pitcher on the mound, but we've seen throughout this tournament that sometimes the worst pitcher on the staff actually has the best game. And we'll see if that actually manifests itself today. The only lineup change is for the A's. They will have Tony Phillips at second base instead of Glenn Mother Hubbard. They lose a little bit with defense um, with um, Phillips, but they get a little more in um, extra bases and on base. So we'll see if that translates for them as they expect. So we're gonna go with the, uh, for, we are back in Kansas City. So Lee Brandt has finished his warm-up tosses and the Oakland Athletics will bat with Lewis Polonia leading off. And he gets a 3-5, which is a fly to center field, one away. Dave Henderson gets a 5-6. That is a double, 1-2-13. And that is a double. So maybe it is actually going to work out that <laughs> the worst pitcher pitches the worst. <laughs> Jose Canseco gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. And that's two down. And Mark McGuire, the other Bash brother, gets a fly ball to center. So Lee Brandt does survive that initial onslaught of the double that went nowhere. And uh, Oakland gets nothing in the first. We go to the bottom of the first. Willie Wilson gets a 2-6, and that's a strikeout. Two out, or being one out, sorry. Kevin Seitzer gets a 1-9. That is a single. One out single by Seitzer. First hit for Kansas City. Bo Jackson. Bo knows. He gets a 2-3 strikeout. Two down. And Eisenreich is up. He gets a 4-9. That is a fly to center. So Kansas City is down quickly. We go to the top of the second inning. Carney Lansford, the third baseman for the A's. Gets a 6-9, which is a walk. Now, Carney Lansford has a little bit of speed. Let's check him out. He is an A, but right now he's going to stay put. Steinbach is up, 2-4. That's a line out to third. Walt Weiss is up. Walt Weiss gets a 1-9. That's a fly ball. And Stan Javier comes up to the plate. He gets a 4-8. That's a home run 1-7 by Stan Javier. And it is. It's a home run, and we're playing the um, we're playing the basic version. So that is a home run, even though uh, Stan Javier uh, only had two home runs in all of 1988. And that brings up Tony Phillips, and that is a six nine, which is a walk. So Tony Phillips getting on. That's what they were thinking maybe would happen. Two hits for Oakland and two runs on the two-run homer by Javier and Luis Polonia is up and he gets a pop out to first. So the A's do go down but not before they get to in the second. It's 2-0. Danny Tartable up. He gets a 6-7. That's a triple 1-3 or a double and that is going to be a double. So that's Kansas City's second hit. Man at second, no outs. Bob Boone up, gets a 6-2. That's a ground ball first base C. 
So that moves the runner over to third. There is a runner at third, 90 feet away with one out. Bill Pakota up. The uh, infield is back. 6-9 is a fly ball left field B that does score the run. And so Kansas City gets a, gets on the board, and it's 2-1. to one. And Frank White is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. We go to the top of the third. Dave Henderson up at the plate. He gets a 5-8. That is a ground to the shortstop. The shortstop is Stillwell, and he's a 3. And that's going to be a single. So another base hit for Oakland. Another man aboard. Can Seiko up? You don't want to see that, but he strikes out. One away. Bash brother... Mark McGuire comes up. He gets a 5-4. That is a ground to third. The third baseman is, I believe, Seitzer, and he is a 4. This could be bad news. That's an 11 and a 4 at third, which is a two-base error. That is very bad news. R runners are now at second and third with only one out. And uh, that was an error by Kansas City. Uh, for right now, they're going to leave the infield back. It's 2-1, to one and it's early. So, Carney Lansford up. He gets a 1-9. That's a triple one or a single double asterisk. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. He singles in two runs. Uh, so, that's another hit. And uh, another two runs. And Steinbach is up. He gets a 5-8 roll and that is ground ball to the shortstop that is still well he is a three that's a 15 that doesn't look good it doesn't it's another error for kansas city and kansas city playing um unusually sloppy baseball here with walt weiss up and one out and two on and he gets a single one to four and that is actually going to be a line out to third base. So there's two down. And Stan Javier comes up. He gets a 5-5. That's a ground ball C. Everybody goes home for that inning. But they do get two runs in the top of the second. And they have now a 4-1 lead and still well up at the plate. 6-4. That is a fly to center. One away. Willie Wilson gets a 1-7. That's a pop-out to shortstop. Two away. And Kevin Elka Seitzer gets a 3-9, and that is a strikeout. And there will be a pitching change now for the Royals. They will take out Lee Brandt. Kansas City got nothing there, but they do need to slow this um, onslaught down a little bit. So they are going to bring in Steve Farr to pitch. And uh, he will be dealing to Phillips to lead it off. 4-8. That's a strikeout. One away. Luis Polonia gets a 6-9. That is a fly to center. Two away. And Dave Henderson gets a 2-9. And that's a home run 1-19. you got to believe that's gone. And it is. Home run Dave Henderson. And the A's just keep coming and coming and coming. So... It is now 5-1, to one and Canseco is up, and he gets a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop being a 3, that is a 5, probably an out, and it is. But not before the A's strike for another run, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. With the score, 5-1 Oakland, Bo Jackson up, he gets a 3-5, that's a fly to left. One out. Jim Eisenreich gets a 3-5. That's a triple 1-12 to 12 or a double. And that is going to be a triple. So they get a big hit. Kansas City gets a big hit right there. They needed that. Man 90 feet away, only one out. Danny Tartable up. He gets a 3-5. That's a single and knocks in the run. And it is now 5-2. Bob Boone up. He gets a 2 4. It's a single 1 9. And it is a single. 
So now all of a sudden they're taking on uh, Kurt Young and they're taking him apart. Two runners on, only one out. Bill Pakota up. He gets a 4-11. 4-11 is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 2. That is a 4-2. That's probably going to be an out 1, and it is. So runners move over to 2nd and 3rd. But there are now 2 down. And Frank White up, and he gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that is a single one to 7. If that can come through, that would be huge. It doesn't. It's a line out to shortstop. They just miss getting that third run across the plate. They may regret that later on uh, by the time the game is over. But we go to the top of the fifth. It's 5-2 to two, Oakland. Kansas City still within catching distance. Steve Farr still pitching now on in relief of Lee Brandt. And McGuire gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. One away. Carney Lansford gets a 6-10, which is a fly to center, two away. And Terry Steinbach gets a 2-4, which is a line out to third base. And there are no runs coming across for the first time for Oakland since the first inning. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Kurt Stillwell up. 4-7 is a walk. So... Kansas City continues to be a little pesky here. Willie Wilson gets a 4-7. That's another walk. And now you're going to see some uh, rumblings down there in the Oakland bullpen. Kevin Seitz are up. He gets a 6-7. That's a triple 1-3. to three. And that's really a double, but it's going to knock in at least one run. And we will see if it knocks in another run. First of all, let's get that first run in. Um, well, yeah, you gotta say it's Willie Wilson, one to 17, they're gonna send him. And he does score, so. That is actually another run and it is 5-4. Bo Jackson up, he gets a 4-9. That is a fly ball to center. One away. That's the first out of this inning. Jim Eisenreich gets a 4-5. That is a fly ball to left, right field. Right field, so that's two down. And Danny Tartable gets a 4-3. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 2. That's Weiss. That's a 6. 6, six and 2 is an out. And so they finally do stop them there but Kansas City gets two in the fifth and now we've got a really good game it's 5-4 top of the sixth Weiss up he gets a 6-10 Farr is still out there pitching fly ball to center field Stan Javier gets a 3-5 that is a fly ball to left two away and Tony Phillips gets a 5-8 and that's a home run one to seven or a double and that is a double Another hit for Oakland. And now you got a runner at second. Two down and Polonia up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a single double asterisk, and knocks in another run. So Oakland has been very proficient here with the scoring. Only two innings so far through the first six have they not scored a run. And Dave Henderson is up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. So they do score a run. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 6-4. Six, and maybe that run saved Kurt Young. He's still out there pitching for right now. Bob Boone gets a 111, which is a ground ball A plus injury. We'll deal with that in a minute. Bill Pakota gets a 3-7. That's a ground ball third base, two out. And Frank White gets a 5-8. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2. That's a 16. I don't know about that. No, that's an out. So we will do the injury to Bob Boone. And that's an 11. He's going to be out, uh, looks like, two games. So he would be out probably, very likely, the rest of this series. Now, that isn't really anything to be that alarmed about because 
Kansas City has played in past games in this tournament with the replacement at catcher Mike McFarland. And uh, they've done just well, just fine. So McFarland will be the replacement catcher as she goes out behind the plate. And, um, and let's see, Kansas City got nothing there. And we go to the top of the seventh with Oakland up. And Kansas City also is going to replace Farr. He has pitched uh, quite enough. And they're going to bring out Steve Crawford to relieve him. And Jose Canseco is up. He gets a 3-6. That's a home run, 1-16. to And that is a home run. Canseco gone. Of course, he hit 42 that year. So that is yet another run for Oakland. And they are starting to pull back away. Mark McGuire up. He gets a 3-7. That's a strikeout. One out. Carney Lansford gets a 3-4. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. Two down. And Kerry Steinbach gets a 1-9. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. So they do get the run. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and now Kurt Young will be relieved by somebody. And who's that going to be? And this team was all pitching. I mean, they had a ton of pitchers. So they are going to bring on Jim Corsi in relief. They have a little bit of a lead here, 7-4, to four, so they don't need to go to their top dudes just yet. And Jim Corsi in 1988 was 0-1 with a 3.80 earned run average in only 21 innings pitched. And he will be dealing to Kurt Stilwell. He gets a 5-9. That is a pop-out to second, one away. Willie Wilson gets a 2-8. That's a strikeout, two away. Corsi just blown him away. Sights are up. He gets a 4-6. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2. That is a 17. I believe that's an out, and it is. So, of course, he got him 1, 2, 3. We go to the top of the 8th. Walt Weiss up. He gets a 4-7. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Frank White. He's a 2. That is a 19-2 and two at second base. Is an out. One out. Stan Javier gets a 6-10. That is a catcher card. X. The catcher is a 4 now because that's McFarland. 19 and 4 at catcher is wild pitch followed by foul out. So that's two down. And Tony Phillips gets a 5 7. That is a single one, 18. And it is a single. So that's another hit for Oakland. Let's see if they can bring a guy in here. Luis Polonia gets a 4-7, and that is a ground ball second base. He is a 2, that is Frank White. That is a 10. 10-2 ten and two is an out. So, nothing more. That is the third zero inning, only the third zero inning for Oakland in this game. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Jim Corsi still out there. I mean, they're going to give him another inning. Bo Jackson gets a 6-10. That is a fly ball center field. I mean, why burn through your bullpen in a game that you have handily um, in hand right now? Jim Eisenreich. 212 is a line out into as many outs as possible, which only happens to be one. And Danny Tartable gets a 111, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is the inning of the the eighth inning for Kansas City. We go to the top of the ninth. And uh, they will bring on another pitcher. Kansas City will. They're going to relieve Crawford. And they're going to bring in Terry Leach. Terry Leach in 1989 was 5-6 with a 4.15 earned run average. Dave Henderson up against him. 6-5 is a double 1-5 or a single. And that is going to be actually be a single. And so that is another hit for Oakland, or 10th hit. Canseco up. That's a 212, which is the fly ball left field A, which moves the runner to second. There's one out. 
Maguire. Maguire gets a 5-6. That is a fly ball. Right field B. That's two down. And Carney Lansford gets a 4-8. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 3. That is a 13-3. And, and that is a one base error. Another error for Kansas City. They are playing uncharacteristically bad defense with their third error of the game. And Steinbach up. But he strikes out. So they get no runs there. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Kansas City has got to have three runs or they will be down two games to one in this best of five series. McFarlane up. He gets a 6-10. And that is a fly ball to center field. One away. Jim Corsi still out there throwing it. 4-4 four, four is a single one to 15. Single one to 15, and that is a single. And it's Kansas City's sixth hit, and they will make a pitcher change right now. They, they think, of course, he might be getting tired, and hey, he might be. So they're going to bring in Gene Nelson, the stick. Gene Nelson, who was 9-6 in 1988 with a 306 earned run average. Frank White up. Gets a 3-6, and that's a walk. So, one out, two runners on. Down by three, still well up. He gets a 6-9. That is a line out to short. Two away. They're down to their last out. It's Willie Wilson. He gets a 5-3. Hits it to the shortstop. That is a two. That's 12-2 and two at short. And that is an out. And we have a winner in game uh, three. And that is the Oakland A's winning at 7-4. Scoring in all but four innings during this particular game and winning by the score seven to four 10 hits and no errors and kansas city getting four runs six hits and three errors that's going to be it for me for right now sportsman z bob zolke signing off